is David, and I'll be presenting to you a TED Talk on virtual reality. You will be seeing a little of the history, a little of what it looks like now, and more of the future. You will also be seeing a little of the pros and cons and a video of what virtual reality looks like inside. So the main inquiry question is, how can virtual reality affect the future? My answer is, in lots of ways. It can help in police, military, education, and in medical fields. So let's start from the beginning. In 1838, Charles Wheatstone thought of the idea of making a virtual reality. He made virtual reality the same year, and people started making more till this day. Here's a video of a person using virtual reality. What are the pros on virtual reality? Well, there are more pros and cons. Some of the pros are that it could make everything a lot more fun, and like including education and training to be a police officer or a military sergeant guy. What are the cons on virtual reality? Well, some of the cons are that it might the ba the graphics might be not the best, and it might be hard to set up. For my site visit, I went to the Microsoft Store in the Simon Mall. I played two games on the HTC Vive. An HTC Vive is a type of virtual reality. I played a game where you're underwater on a shipwreck and where you shoot aliens. <laughs> so for my interview, I interviewed a doctor named Dr. Costa. He works at Mount Sinai and he uses virtual reality. He's very helpful and he gave me a lot of information. So no one knows the expected future of virtual reality, but some people think it's going to be highly advanced. Some people think it's not going to be really advanced. It's, uh, some people think it's just going to stay the same. My opinion is that it's going to be highly advanced and there's going to be like a hologram and it's going to be like have everything in it like a TV at home. So to learn more, you can go to my blog by scanning this QR code or going to the link. Thank you.